So I get asked a lot what I bring to a coin show. What I usually bring to a coin show is a hundred bucks in smaller bills. Um, unfortunately, I don't have that. I have 75 bucks here, 15 in ones, and you can see the rest. So the reason why I bring smaller bills is just so I can make exact exact change, you know, or the exact amount that I need. And another thing is that the dealers like it. One particular story is a couple shows ago I did that for a dealer like probably like twice um, which was nice because he actually ended up buying me lunch because he felt bad that he took all my smaller bills. I said no I would do it for anybody it doesn't matter who you are you know so he appreciated that so I thought that was really nice. Another thing you want to bring is a loop, you know, or a magnifying glass. Some people prefer different, um, you know, 5x, 30x, or ones with a light. It all depends. <coughs> I'm sorry, I think I'm coming down with a cough because um, of allergies over here. But anywho, um, another thing you want to bring is it depends on what you collect, but a red book or, you know, whatever it is that you use to you know grow your collection so so other people bring in like a notebook or like a piece of paper that sh uh, tells them what they're looking for I sometimes just write down real quick which dealers that I'm going to go to first and then make my way around the show I know that's not very organized, but there's certain people that I want to see because I want to see what bars and rounds they have. And, you know, just be friendly with people. Um, I would never reach into a dealer's case, even if you know them. Um, it's just not good. I mean, sure, I know that I've done that before, but that's because I'm on good terms with some of the dealers. I know that's hypocritical, but... I just wouldn't do it at that show since it's so large and there there is security so I'm sure you've seen that video last time of them taking down um, these two guys who uh, at least I think there were two guys that stole um, a coin dealers collection and then stupidly decided to sell it at the Long Beach coin show they apprehended one guy as he was trying to walk out the door and the other guy somehow escaped, and then the next day he went to um, their particular SUV, and the cops were waiting. So it's just kind of like, uh, like a mouse trap, if you want to call it that. So the other thing I would bring is, like I said, try to sneak in some water and like snacks. Like I'm <coughs> bad. I'll sneak in like some. M&M's or something like that, just like a little bit of sugar. And I bring gum and mints. And I always bring um, a couple pieces of paper and pens. So then when I'm walking around and I see something that I like, I'll um, stop by and write it down. But usually if I really, really like something, then I'll give the dealer a little bit of money and say, can you hold this item for me? Like I did that with the, um, the Inglehard half teal um, gold piece that I found from Australia. I did that with the dealer. Um, I put a hundred dollar down payment and then I went to go ask another friend if I could borrow some money to cover it. So that's something you can think about too. And now if you have kids with you, please participate in their um, kids events that they have because they have a lot of um, fun games for kids and if I'm not mistaken um, there might be some like Boy Scouts that do stuff but I'm not sure there's usually coin clubs that are represented there there's like the Long Beach coin club members um, Glendale <coughs> there's like a lot of coin clubs um, I'll have to get a list of that sometime but Again, this is only for California. I don't know what, what state you guys are in, but this is primarily California stuff. So 
that's just mainly it. Money, a backpack, if you can, or a bag. Um, I prefer to have it on a lock if I'm bringing a backpack or a bag because a couple shows ago somebody tried to reach into my backpack and was trying to steal stuff from me. So that's just my preference. And like I said, um, comfortable walking shoes and comfortable clothes. Um, it's probably nicer to bring like a light jacket because you could always take it on and, and take it off. So you don't have to dress up too crazy. Some people get really dressed up for the show. Other people just come in sh shorts and a t-shirt. It's just whatever makes you comfortable. There's restaurants across the street that are probably but have better food and are cheaper. I remember having a pretzel last show and it was disgusting. It was like hard as this table and I was like, oh, why did I buy that? I regretted paying for that. Well, anywho, this is a long video. Good night and take care.